Elizabeth, um, do you think the making Bracken come to life in this series was a good idea? Oh, yes. Um, I think it's a marvelous idea because I, I think, um, although they said, well, the, the, the back of the millionaire worked for years, you know, the, the public loved him sitting in the chair there. I, I think they, um, I think they were getting a little tired of the box on the desk. And um, I think it's um, uh, difficult to believe that uh, he could keep running this enormous motion picture studio uh, always by telephone and, and uh, what have you. And I think it'll add a whole new dimension to the series. Mm -hmm. Were you, you pleased know? about the selection of oh, Wesley yes. Nielsen? Oh, yes. I think he's a marvelous actor. And um, he's such a professional, you know, it's, um, it's a pleasure. Had you ever worked with him before? No, but I've been a fan of his uh, for years, you know, he's, uh, <laughs> and of course he, uh, the bold ones last year, and um, we're terribly happy that we have him. What will this do to change your role at all? Well, they've, um, <laughs> they've dropped the talent school, uh, closed it up, uh, just as was in real an, life. Was this an economy movement? No, uh, it, um, it uh, obviously they, it wasn't uh, working and uh, there, the dramatic situations uh, couldn't be opened up. I mean, I think, I think every single script at one point I had a line, are you all right? Because one of my students was having some sort of problem. And uh, now they've moved me up into a, a, an executive position uh, such a you know uh, head of casting and uh, talent scout, so I will be more on the production end, and uh, it'll be it'll open up my character a lot more. You're pleased about oh, it? Oh yes, very. Yeah. I'll be a lady executive. <laughs> <laughs> Elizabeth, uh, is Bracken's world a pretty plausible situation? Is it believable? Oh yes, I think so. Uh, it. Uh, it's, it's the motion picture industry as it was, I would say, 15 years ago or 10 years ago. If, if we showed the way the motion picture industry is today, it would be an absolute bore because the motion picture industry today is uh, having a very rough time economically. There isn't that much going on and the, the studios per se are owned by conglomerates. In fact, my studio, 20th Century Fox, is the only one that's still owned and run by motion picture people. So, therefore, it wouldn't be it it wouldn't be as interesting to the public. But um, I think I think the public is, is has always been fascinated with what goes on backstage and behind the scenes, and uh, uh, all of our uh, stories are based on. Uh, very real happenings at a studio. You came uh, here via the Broadway route and television uh, mm -hmm. because uh, the way we all first knew you, of course, was on the Jackie Gleason show. That was my, that was my beginning. <laughs> <laughs> that was my first job of any kind in the in the business. And then I went from uh, the Gleason show into the theater, and then from the theater. I came out and did my first motion picture at uh, 20th Century Fox, as a matter of fact, and uh, then went back to the theater, and now I'm back doing television. The, the whole cycle. <laughs> when is the last time you saw Jackie Gleason? Jackie, uh, I was in Do I Hear a Wall, and Jackie was doing a motion picture filming in New York, and uh, he was staying at the Astor Hotel right up the street from the theater. We ran into each other a few times. And then we were both out at Paramount Studios doing a film, yeah, separate films, of course. And uh, he looks great. I You've saw seen him then since he lost the weight? Well, I, I've only seen pictures. I haven't seen him, you know, in the flesh, so to speak. But uh, I saw the pictures in the paper the other day of uh, when he got married, and he looked marvelous. And I'm so happy for him, because he looked, he looked happy. Did you enjoy working with him, Elizabeth? Very much. I, I learned uh, I learned so much working with Jackie and Art Carney, and just um, watching these men work together every week uh, was uh, an enormous education. Maybe as good as an acting class. Huh? Oh yes, definitely. I I believe in doing myself, and uh, if you can get to watch the great. 
Peter Ustinov. I was in Romanoff and Juliet with Peter for a year and a half. And I watched Peter from the wings every night. And I think in that year and a half, I learned, you know, by osmosis maybe, but <laughs> I learned. <laughs> and that's the important thing. Right. Elizabeth, thank you very much for thank talking you. with us I today here it. in Hollywood. And we hope you have the best of success in thank your you. new situation on Bracken's World. I'm looking forward to it. Thank you.